Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Joanna and on today's video, I will be showing you our Montessori Inspire play area on our family room. This is a space that we have created for our children. We have a three-year-old boy and a 10-month-old baby girl. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. I have a ton more content coming your way. So please subscribe and we'll see you later. All right, so I'm gonna start with this area right here. So this is where our activities for the day are, or for the week. So I rotate these shelves probably about once a week or so it's perfect. I'm gonna have to figure something out once the baby um, is able to actually stand up and grab things. Right now she is just six months old so she's not there yet but once she does that i'm gonna have to figure out a way to do that to uh, have a better setup because of course she's gonna get into all these things and some of them are not very safe like these beads i mean the one bead is tiny so that's not very safe so definitely need to figure something out better um but for now this is how I have it set up and it's perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into more detail. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the bottom and then I'm gonna work my way up here. So down here, I think I have, now this is not very Montessori to have toys uh, in a bin like this, but it works for us. I mean, I'm not 100% Montessori, so, I take a lot of the principles from it, but I am also aware that my son gets bored sometimes and there are other toys that he wants to play with and I just don't have enough shelves to display all the toys for him. This one is a favorite. I found it on Amazon and it's definitely a favorite. He loves to play with this um, just to buckle everything. There are some that are harder for him. We're still working on lacing. Um, this one is a little hard for him as well. Not sure why. Um, but yeah, so this one is a favorite and it's from Amazon and it was very inexpensive. Then right here, I have, uh, the binoculars and they're also from Amazon and he loved this one. This is the brand Square One. So whenever we go for walks, he always takes those. This is his laptop, and it's funny because, I mean, it's an electronic toy, and I'm trying my best to not have as many electronic toys, but he loves this one. This was by Frog, and I'm sure you guys probably seen it before, but it basically just teach them the alphabet, and he doesn't really use it that way. He uses it more to play pretend like he's going to work, especially because now he sees my husband working from home with his laptop because of COVID. So he's always like pretending that this is his work laptop. And then right here, he has his cell phone. So he pretends to call, um, I don't know, he calls the firemans or I, he calls his grandma all the time and Lala, which is my mom. And this is a flashlight. And he also has my calculator from college. Because I am so attached to it because it helped me so much. It's my financial calculator from college. And it doesn't even work, I don't think. But he loves playing with it. And then he also has a fan. He loves fans. If you guys have any other fan uh, junkies out there like my son, please let me know. Because he loves fans. So there you go. Here's one fan that he has. He has another flashlight and another fan this is a usb one which is great because you can charge it and there you go all right so this is all he has okay so that was bin number one bin number two is basically baby toys and that's actually all baby toys um i only keep a couple out i don't think i have as many but i will just show you the favorite ones so this one is definitely a favorite one i think i got it on target um, of course, the coffee Starbucks one. 
uh, this book. My baby girl loves this book, just like the animals. And it just has like different textures and sounds. Um, this is also a must have, this little car, because it's easy for them to grab it. And this ball, I actually got it um, in Colombia when I went, when my son was like eight months old and it's a favorite. And it was probably like a dollar and it's definitely a must have. And all oh, this feeding toy that she loves to. This is what my son got my daughter when she turned six months old. Uh, he went to the store and he actually bought that for her so it was super cute it's of course not montessori at all but it's a little mirror and it's cute it was so sweet that he actually thought of getting this for her and this is a favorite too and i got this one on my baby sprinkle it's from green tones and it's like a rattle and it's all wood and she loves this one Okay, so that is for the baby toy. Now we're going to do bin number three. And this is my least favorite one because it's all cars. And he has so many cars, guys. Like, I don't even know how to explain to you the amount of cars that he has. But apparently, it's never enough. So these are actually very nice cars. My father-in-law keeps buying this for him. Um, there you go. It's a beautiful car. This is a Carrera. And look, he has all type of cars and motorcycles and why not? So I don't get involved on these cars. I've tried many times to downside the, the cars, but it's never a thing. He loves playing with cars. So there you go. We have a bin full of cars. Okay, now we are going to do uh, bin number four. And this one is also more car things. He loves this. He actually like walks around the house pretending that he's driving a car and he stops at Target or at the zoo, and he stops when he has a flat tire. So it's really cute to see him play with this. And this is also a favorite. My goodness, I forgot about this. So this is a John Deere tractor that he can uh, build. So he has like, sorry, this is loud. He has like this screwdriver that goes with it, and he has, um, so he can like, you know, take it apart or build it. It's super cute. And he loves, loves, loves putting these things together. So I would say if you have a two-year-old, you should get them this for Christmas. This is a great toy and I guarantee they're going to love it here. And now we're going to move up. So up here we have, of course, train trucks. Loves this ones. Loves putting them together and just playing pretend etc this is an ikea uh i believe stacker right is it ikea yes it's ikea yeah it's pretty self-explanatory i got this one out for my oh, that was loud for my daughter um but she's of course not ready for it she's only six months but my uh three-year-old also loves it right here we have a little paso that um i don't know where it's from to be honest with you it's from i don't know some place in france i don't even know how i got this one. Oh, there you go janet i don't know if you know the name or the toy brand please let me know because that's super cute and i don't know it this is a uh, melissa and dog and it's my favorite this one right here is also a big hit in this house and is the playground by Playmobil. So great buy for pretend and the imagination that my son has when he's playing with this playground is just amazing. I love to listen to him when he's playing with it. Super cute. Oh, maybe I'll get it out so you guys can see it better because it's so cute. But there it is. So cute and it comes with like um the trees and this little bounce horsey super cute from uh play mobile he loves playing uh play mobile things and of course putting them together i have no patience to put these things together so my husband usually 
that's it with him because it's just not my thing okay now we're gonna move up and these are more the activities that i set up for him weekly so right now we are working on numbers and of course we have the beads um that he gets to play with them so like oh this is too small or this is too big for this so it's not so it's a great montessori toy and then i also have this i got from amazon and they are actually uh what is it for the weddings for the wedding tables and it's perfect because I, he can like touch them and trace them and um yeah so i usually put this too and i then show him okay well one this is one bead can you find one bead in here and then he goes and finds it so it's really cute we always have play-doh um i used to put a bunch of play-doh out and it will just get all over the floor and he would not play with anything so now what i do is i put this little tray out with a couple of colors and a couple of these are cookie cutters actually and um some tools and then he can just be creative and play whatever he wants and usually he plays with the play-doh uh and the kitchen like oh look this is this is what happens when you have a three-year-old we have leave so he plays the play-doh with the kitchen and i don't care if he wants to be creative i don't care this one is so fun it's also montessori it's uh the cylinders so basically you just have to it's like a puzzle so like oh this is too big this does not go there and actually this one doesn't go anywhere and then right here we have the classics sandpaper letters i got this one from amazon they were actually not that expensive and i working on a couple of them so he already masters some of them but for some reason he's just not interested in learning letters so we will see i don't know if it's a boy thing or what but we are trying so basically what i do is that i actually made this uh sand box for him and then he can trace it i don't want to get my hands dirty but S, and then he traced that you see we're, we're working on one and yep so this is i made it this is actually from walmart i got a box from walmart i think it's like a tobacco one and sand from walmart and then this i got off amazon and these ones are from amazon they're actually really nice quality they would he loves 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 just tracing them right here so that's good and then if we move up and i have the rainbow this is not the grims one that i would love to have but i can't afford this was actually 40 maybe 49 from amazon and it's a great quality i mean in my opinion it's really nice um he loves it i cannot believe it took me so long to buy this because the amount of things that he can do with this rainbow are just um, endless amount of things. He pretends that um, he pretends that this is a vacuum, so he builds a vacuum, or he pretends there is a bridge, or he pretends that there's a farm or there's a pool because we have a pool in this house. So he pretends that the kids are going to the playground. And then they go to the pool and then he makes a pool out of this one so it's really really versatile and i honestly think you should consider getting one of them it took me a long time to do that but now i'm glad i did and then right here we just have um markers and things like that everything i have is washable because i don't trust them this is broken because you know i don't trust them um yeah, these are all washable ones. Um, and then right here is crayons, rocks. I keep the rocks here. And I'm always trying to supervise that um, they don't go on the floor. Because, of course, my six-month-old. But he loves playing with rocks and the kinetic sand. This is where I keep it. 
and then this is the punch and we have glue and these are the dab and dab markers and i always have this little sponge that i uh wet so he can play uh he can clean up any messes that he has and then right here this is my favorite quote um it says always pray to have eyes that see the best in people a heart that forgives the worst and a mind that forgets the bad and a soul that never loses faith in god and i just love it and if there is one thing i want my kids to know it's this i love this so i someday when they can read i can't wait for them to understand this better all right so let me just we're going to this side so right here i have the uh, melissa and dog um sweep a mop set and he loves i don't even know where the sweep is it probably it has it somewhere i don't know Right here we have instruments, and these are only a couple of the instruments I have. I rotate toys. This uh, is a favorite. It's a ukulele. Oh my god. It's a ukulele from Hawaii when we went when he was like 18 months old. We have an accordion, and the accordion is actually very popular in my country. I'm from Colombia. So this was a gift from my sister. Super cute. And then we have the flute and a microphone and maracas and whatnot in there. So that's perfect. And then, of course, the kitchen that it's not really a Montessori toy either, but he is going to be a chef. He loves to cook. The kitchen, pretty self explanatory. We have some food that he likes to. <laughs> this is uh, his favorite um, character, Sky. I don't know what she's doing here. But, um, yeah, so he loves to, like, cut this and cook them and stuff like that. And we have all types of food and ice cream. And down here, pans. Nothing in here. We have a birthday cake. And um, this is a new favorite. It was secondhand. Uh, but, oh, my gosh, he loves it. Actually, um, okay. it has like money. This is actually five dollars that someone gave him, and he's keeping it here. Uh, but yeah, this is great, and then you will like teach them the coins. So, like, if you insert, yeah, so it tells you like the coins. Okay, now to finish up this area. Um, it's getting dark, so I'm sorry about that. But right here, we have a bag that he, uh, it was a craft that he made from the Kiwi Crate. He has his, uh, what is it called? His chef hat and apron. And then right here, I have the Picasso tiles, which are like magnetic tiles. These are definitely a must have right here. Off the next to the kitchen area, I have play scarves that I thought they were not going to be a big deal to my kids, but they love playing with this. I mean, this becomes water. Um, he actually plays that he's giving me a haircut. Um, what else does he does with it? He wraps gifts that brings to grandma's house. I mean, anything. Um, there are blankets for the baby. Anything you can think of, place cards are definitely a must have. They're also from Amazon, very inexpensive. And these are great quality. Um, the best ones are uh, Sarah's Silk, but they're very pricey. So I found these ones, and they're definitely really good quality. And then right here, I have this full of bowls or def def different ones for my six-month-old. This area here is our creative area. <laughs> This is our table. This was a hand-me-down from a local Facebook group. Here I have a calendar that I actually made for my husband uh, last Christmas, but because he's working from home, he brought it home from his office and now it's just here. But look how cute, like this is last Halloween. 
This is the Halloween before that when he was two, he was Harry Potter. And this is the first fall when he was like, I think six months old. And now he's so big, he's three. And then right here we have our books. These are of course not all the books we own. These are only a few that I rotate constantly because we love reading books in the morning when we wake up. Just, I don't know if this video is getting too long, otherwise I'll show you all of them. But this is a favorite, who is that baby? This one is awesome, Giraffe Skin Dance. Um, this ones are really nice too, to trace the letters and the numbers. Of course, we have some for Thanksgiving, since so Thanksgiving is approaching. This one was my husband's when he was little. It's a little vintage one. This is a great book, it's all about weather. It's from Amazon and it is really, really nice. Like it really explains, um, very like easy for kids to understand the weather and the seasons so i think it's a must have this is a favorite for my six month old she loves it this one is pretty cool it's little yoga so what we do is sometimes when we are like you know we need a little movement in our bodies we just open it up and we go through it and we go okay well let's go do some yoga and then we gotta stretch your back like a cat so this is a great book really cute this is amazing too is a look and find book i got it from costco and my son loves uh sea life and fish and all those things so he loves this one and this one is from our local library if you're happy and you know it it's like he loves it because we can sing and then right here we have our couch this couch is so old and we had it my husband had it when he was single living in his uh, small house when he met me. So it's an old couch, but this is what we have in our family room. We have our nicer sectional in the front of the house. Um, and it's perfect because if the kids destroy it, I don't care, it's already... Okay, so I don't love that couch there, but it is what it is. My husband thinks we need this space when people come over. We do have a lot of people over all the time. We have family that comes over all the time. And they're usually playing here with the kids. And my sister-in-law has twins. So it's like a daycare in here with all the kids. So, okay. So these are the built-ins that came with the house. They're pretty simple now. I don't, I haven't done much with them because I was pregnant and um, I just didn't have time. And now I'm so busy. I don't have time to like decorate and stuff. But it's a cute picture of my son and my husband from Hawaii. These are my parenting books that I love. So I have not read this one. I just got it for my birthday. There's not such thing as bad weather. So I live in upstate New York and our winters are brutal. So I'm so excited to read this book, but haven't yet. This one is amazing, Not by Kids by Janet Lansbury. I'm pretty sure you know who she is. The No Drama Discipline, amazing. Strong Mother, Strong Songs, beautiful book. This one is awesome too, 150 screen free activities for kids. All these books I got from Amazon. And then this one, I got it from my local library and I'm actually reading it now. It is called The Danish Way of Parenting. Because I do want to learn from them because they are the happiest people in the, in the world. And they have the worst winters too. So I don't understand how they can be happy. <laughs> so I kind of want to know what they do. What's the secret? And then right here I have this that we play with play-doh um and i switch this every week uh but i put them here just because i have a little baby i have my hand sanitizer hidden here from when i changed the baby's diaper um tissues this are uh, my first box they're definitely a most have this is the pre-reader collection so very cool i have an ex-classic success with kindergarten and by any means my son is ready for kindergarten but i got this one and we are just working our way through it uh, little by little right here this i got off target and i have like coloring books i have our tracing book i have the imagine ink books and anytime he wants to play with them he can just come here oh boy and grab them and then right here i just have like papers that i use for our homeschooling 
that I do for him since he can't, he couldn't go to preschool this year. Right here is like a, a, a dollhouse, but it's for, well, I don't want to say it's for boys, but it's more like a, it's a fire house. I think it's a rescue house. I don't know the name of it, but it's amazing. It's so amazing. I mean, it's, it was a little pricey, but I feel like I got a good deal on it. And he is obsessed with this. Like he plays with this all day. And I like, just like the playground from Playmobil, I just love listening to the things he comes up with. And then right here, we just have a uh, little small people. We have a grandpa and a little girl and the policeman and all different types of things. And this one's I got off Amazon. He loves them because he can like maneuver them. So like they can, she can sit down or she can stand up. So he loves that. These are great. I'll link them down below for you guys. And then right here, I just have a plant that's dying that I, I'm terrible. I always kill plants. I don't know why. This is our portal. Um, my family is from Colombia. So we use this like crazy because we always are talking to them. So this is a great thing to have if you have family in another state or in another country. This is the portal from Facebook. And it's amazing. Like, I definitely recommend it. I got it from Christmas last year, and it's so worth it. And then right here, it's just a bunch of books and more parenting books right here. Happiest toddler on the blog. Happiest baby on the blog. Definitely a must-have for any first-time mom. And that is pretty much it. And then if we move this way, this is our bay window. And it's pretty dirty right now, so don't judge me, but I gotta clean it. This is our bay window, and my son took over here. Um, he literally just, like, when we moved in here, he brought all his uh, cars, and he just started playing here. And next thing we know, this is, like, his area. Like, he has all his cars, and this is where, this is, like, where he plays with the playground. This has the kids. I didn't even know he had them there. Probably waiting for the school bus or something. Um, this, he loves this. So he loves looking at those. And there's my dog outside, barking and getting in trouble. I don't think you can see her. She's a little chihuahua, very loud. Uh, this, I have to put it more bird food, but the squirrels were getting it. And I'm just scared that they're gonna like, I don't know, rip this the, uh, the window screen or something. So I have to figure something out. But he, we, I love, love, love seeing all the birds come in the morning to eat. Another little flower. And then we have more. I don't even know if you can see it because it's so sunny. But we have a school bus. This is also from Playmobil. It's our favorite. This is the van from Playmobil. More cars. This, definitely, definitely worth it. It's from uh, Melissa and Tom. And he had it. All right, guys, this is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I also have linked some of the toys down in the description below if you are curious or if you have any questions, just comment down below and I will make sure to answer as soon as I can. I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.